welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I am in the studio and I am going to be working on some more resin jewellery. This time I'm just going to work with this mould. I do have a combination of colours I'm going to rotate through so I've tried to keep those to a minimum and I'm going to see if I just concentrate on this do I have better control over the images. The difference this time is I have got some Casting Craft Mold Release Conditioner. I'm going to see if that actually adds any value to pulling them out, although I've not had any problem, but somebody has asked that, so we will experiment and see how that goes. But I've got my resin all mixed. It's Masterclass 1 plus 1. I've measured it out. I've worked out my colour scheme. I've got my mask and I'm just about to put it on because I am going to make my mix my pigments. Hopefully you don't find that too boring. You can always fast forward. All right, um, yeah, let's crack on. This time, because I've got my resin already scooped out, I think it's gonna give me a little bit more control as to how much pigments I need to order, uh, not order, put in, because sometimes I can add a bit too much. And I might go for a slightly transparent color and see if that adds any value rather than it being a more dense colour but we shall see I'll add it yeah I'm happy with that so I'm using antique copper perlex number two so I've paired them up with the colours I am going to blend together I only really need a little bit because of how small I'm out. Oh, you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> you don't want to contaminate your other colours. Hence why you've got to wear a dust mask. You really don't want to be breathing this in. It's super, super fine particles. So this one is the Super Bronze. That's going to be partnering my antique copper. Again, I'm going to go for not... As, when I say bold, there still is that colour in there, but not as dense. I think those two are going to look beautiful together. Sorry, I'm mixing fast because of the working time and I don't want to leave myself short. We'll go back and make sure they're all mixed in properly. So, sticking with Perlex, this one is the Aztec Gold. Again, it will work and complement some of the other colours that I'm using. This is the one that blended really well with my apple green. It's very nice. That one's called Aztec Gold. And that's going to be partnered with Super Copper. Ooh, I feel the pressure of getting it mixed and working on it, but hopefully we will have a successful day. I'm being a little bit reckless here with my mica powders. And I'm even considering adding a tiny little bit of glitter. Some people like a little bit of glitter. I don't have any glitter in there. That has come out beautiful as well. So that's going to complement each other lovely. I'm hoping I'm not going to have much resin left over because you don't want to waste it. But if so, I do have some other moulds that I can use. I'm going to my pumpkin orange. This is a lovely one that mixes well with the coppers, the greens. Very nice, fresh, what more spring colour. Because I've already added the resin, it's blending in quite nicely. And I am going to pair that one with the spring green. I'm rushing as well because my partner Neil is due on from work and I was hoping that I'd be in a great space to stop. Or that they don't come in and make a lot of noise while I'm recording. But if they do, I apologise in advance. I might get him to come out here and say hello to you all. Don't worry though, I've made sure tea's all prepared. Getting my uh, duties correct after he's been at work. Red. 
cannot go wrong with this lovely red. Always got time for cadmium red. <laughs> it's going to be hard not adding too much red because, again, I love this colour. I'll give them all a second mix just before I add them in as well. It's very important that although we're rushing, you have time to get your mica powders all blended in, otherwise you're going to get bits all through it. Sorry, just rubbing that in for when I get my mask. And that's going to be uh, partnered with the sapphire blue. They actually go really well together. So my goal today is to try and get no air bubbles and to see if I can get that pattern to go to the bottom. So layer it up. Oh, <laughs> that's going to go there. Um, yeah, and I have added two that have got clear resin in there. One, two. Not all the way there, but I'm just wanting to know if I add the colours, what's that actually going to do? Is it going to add any effects or not? I don't know, but we shall see. Move them all up in an organised fashion, which is going to bring me to my flamingo pink. Did like the look on that one uh, when it was with that piece there. Worked really well with the silver, but I'm not using silver today. I've stuck with the coppers and a few nice spring colours other than my bold red and blue. And this one's the Reflex Violet. So they're all my Perlex pigments and my uh, Cornelison pigments. Once I've got this mixed in, I am going to give my gloves a good ping down. Which I might need to add a little bit more purple. That's gone quite transparent, a bit too much transparent for me. The only problem is... I've stuck that one so I don't want resin in there so I'll just use another part. Okay that's better, that was the only one that I didn't like in that more transparent colour. Okay perfect. So I've got my little pinny thing that's helping me do some of the I'm going to just, um, should I say, do some of the effects. So finish my sentences, that's what I've been trying to do. I'm going to take away all those bits. I'm going to give it a final shake and I'm just going to get my gloves on. Okay, I can now remove my mask so I can feel like I can breathe better. And let's do this i just realized when i gave it a shake i forgot that i have some resin in one ooh, ooh. did i stay in there though <laughs> how surprising is that it's going to be one of those evenings i think it's because this will be my third piece that i'm working on today it's my day off so i usually try and get a lot of videos done in well no, this isn't, I tell a lie, this is my first time trying to get multiple things done in a day. So I've got a backlog, so I've caught up with mainly my backlog of videos. Just got a couple more, and then just this is just to build it. So I'm actually going to add my dark antique copper first. Just a little bit. And... I'm going to go back to its partner, which is a super bronze, and a tiny little bit. And then what I'm going to do is work on trying to blend and create a pattern, and also make sure it goes behind where there's the little nodule, so that a little bit white there. Not too sure where that came from. 
so that there's no air bubbles. So just mixing it around, trying to create an effect. I do like that clear, that seems to have added value to this. So that's one thing I might do in future. We've got some nice little swirls happening. I just let that sit for a bit and I'm going to go on to the next one. And I will start with my darker colour again, which is my super copper. So it's really bright but dark at the same time. Add a tiny little bit. I'm going to go to the bottom corner away from where the clear is. Stop that there and I'm going to come back with my Aztec gold at the top. Tiny little bit. Stop it there. Now I'm going to get my little pin again and I'm going to swirl through and make sure I go around the knob to, so that the hole will stay there and again I'm just trying to create a nice pattern, a nice effect and no air bubbles. I'm trying to make my backs as pretty as my front. Okay, leave that there. I seem to have covered most of the clear, unlike that one there, so I preferred the one with a little bit of gap, so I definitely I'm going to come back and do that. Now I'm going to go on to my spring green. Just put my colours there so that I've got them to hand. Give it another stir. And I am going to go in there with a rectangle. At the bottom, stop there. Oh, whoop! You don't want to be doing that. Luckily, I never lost any. And then I'm going to go with the top with my pumpkin, pumpkin orange. And I do need to make sure that I do come back and create a dome effect. Okay, so just take that off the knob. I'm going to feed this behind, going into all corners. I'm going to pop any air bubbles I can see and I am going to work hard at blending these and creating a little pattern. Let it settle. Wow, I quite like this when it's uh, going together as planned and I'm able to work through it quite efficiently. Now I'm going to go for my blue and red. And I have done my, I haven't done a big red one before, so I'm going to use blue to start with. I'm going to try and do it up one side here. Yeah, too much. Gosh, I love that blue. And to my go-to, which is my red. At the top here. Mark it for now. Try and get some blending happening. And again, I might have to go even thinner than this when I'm doing my bottom layers. Who knows? The experts know. That's created a nice little pattern and I'm hoping it's a reflective of the pattern that will be shown uh, at the back, but we shall see. Okay, moving on to my flamingo pink and then my reflective violet. So I am going to do my reflective pink. So I keep looking to the left because of my other colours and I am going to go flamingo at this side. And I am going to go my violet at the other side. It'll be interesting to know if I've made enough resin. I've just, from what I've done before, I've just guessed that this is going to be the right amount. I didn't want to have any spare. All right, let's get this behind. Shall we pop in bubbles? Trying to get it to bleed into each other. They look nice together. 
if that holds that's gonna be amazing okay so my choices are to go back on these or to go and fill more so I'm gonna do more but making sure I do leave enough to go back and create the dome effect with my resin which was my lesson to myself last time okay back to my deeper color getting cold now as the night draws in so it's probably going to start setting quicker than it did this morning when I was working on my other piece of art which I've now got to spend time cleaning up the edges the backs and also get them ready to start selling but there are a couple of people I'd like to mention or to say thank you to um, the, I'm really happy that although it's a small little milestone um, for uh, in comparison to other people I now have in two weeks I've got 32 subscribers and I've had over 1022 views to my different um, videos that I've put up so it's a little celebration for me and milestone so I just want to thank people who are viewing and liking and commenting on my channel a uh, specific shout out to Paula Wall Martha Wood, Anne Anderson, Erin from uh, New Zealand, Deborah Armstrong, Natalie uh, Newer, Never You, I apologise, and Diane Ampton for some beautiful comments and feedback. And just so you know, who inspires me currently when I'm looking at videos is I've had a few go to people. I do look at everybody's out there, uh, but Anne Osborne, Mackie Art. Monica Burns, who's fairly new to it, but I do love her style. Susan Danix and Anne Marie Ridderhoff. I hope I've said that correctly. I do apologise. Um, and the reason I like them is they're just consistent. They seem to have got a good following. Um, I personally like their art style or what they're trying to teach people. Um, and yeah they just seem to be the people I always go back to and watch what they're up to learnt a lot from them along the way uh, and I wish them every success uh, for continuation they're doing some amazing amazing things with amazing followers so it puts my 32 <laughs> in a reality check but I'm really proud of those 32 because if it's 32 people that are interested or like my art or feel that the way I'm doing my videos are adding value to them that's amazing and the people that's liked it either they've appreciated my work or they've managed to take away something because that's what this channel's about just sharing ideas and giving people hopefully the confidence to have a go and I didn't a green apple last time so I'm going to go for a little ring now the rings a tough one because every time I've done this one I think I've always ended up with an air bubble at the back so I'm going to try my hardest not to but again mindful that uh, once I run out of resin I might not be able to get to every one of these molds but that's fine for me it's just a matter of making sure the ones I have done I finish them properly bring that around Gotta sometimes show the resin where you want it to go. It always finds a way of self leveling. But for me, I'm just really conscious of these air bubbles, so I will go back through, I think, and um, finish your sentences, Sharon. I will go back through before I add the next layer just to make sure I'm fairly happy. That the air bubbles have uh, gone or have got the best chance of going
Okay. Sorry, I don't want to waste alcohol wipes every time doing this, so I'm just swiping it off. And if I've got any left, I'll do those two little jigsaws. Uh, and they're almost like hair drop. But I just want to make sure I've got enough. I don't lose myself short for finishing the ones I have done. Okay. Let's get that off there. I will go around with that alcohol wipe at the end and make sure there's no spillages or anything like that. I'm going to be in queue on Sunday to look for some nice fine sandpaper to get the edges off and like I said get some stuff ready for selling and I am going to make sure I do a clip on that so you can see how I progress and is it easy or not. Alright so I'm now going to go back and do this but I'm going to try and rotate the colour so I had the brown at the top of the back so I'm going to put the gold at the bottom. success as far as quantities very minimal wastage just there but they were my safety net so I'm just going to do the old little mixing uh, especially around where the the hole's going to be well if I'll Okay, let's see if you can see this clear enough while the light is going down here. So there, I believe, some nice textures, nice colour combinations, or should I say definitions, patterns. The only thing you can't really see is the true colours, I'm afraid, because it is. I don't know if you can see the dome effect that I'm referring to where it comes up and just air pockets raised um, but I will obviously and as usual bring you back when they're set and we'll have a look if I was successful with air bubbles colours and any sanding that will be ne needed so 
I hope that you find this useful and have a beautiful evening and I'll see you when it's dried. Hey, welcome back with Sharon from Vivid Days. My jewellery has had time to set, so what I'm going to do is pull them out of the moulds. I've left them in the moulds uh, until I'm taking them out because I did have a comment asking how easily they come out. I did test one here and pulled it out. It came out really easily. So I'm going to pull them out and talk to you about what I'm happy about or what I've noticed. So I wanted to make sure I got a really nice colour or effect at the back. This one's been a success. There are no bubbles at the back. Tiny little one there. So what I need to do is when I apply the first coat of resin at the bottom, maybe torch that and make sure that there is nothing there but some beautiful swirls and colours. Uh, not really much sanding needed at all. Uh, there's just a tiny little bit of resin at the hole there when it came through. So I should be able to sand that down, but really happy with, with that one. So this is one of the ones where I left the clear silicone in the bottom and that's actually given a nicer effect I feel so I might actually put clear resin at the bottom. I'm not too sure if you're going to pick it up but there's a fine line around there where if you tilt it it's clear so it makes I think the colour a little bit more interesting but I've got a beautiful transition of colours here. There is, oh, you don't want to do that tiny little air bubble just at the bottom there and at the front that's really cool as well and it's not concaved and there's not really any sanding needed so that one's a thumbs up with the ones with the little resin holes what I am going to do is mix some clear up later today and see if I can fill them and put them reverse into the mold and then fill up that way and I'll share if that's a success with you this is another one that had the resin clear and I think I definitely like that I'm gonna try and apply the clear resin before I add the colors um, very little air bubbles very little sanding needed beautiful textures so this is definitely third attempt is a little bit more successful not too sure if you can see the color contrast there or even where the clear resin is around the edge and how that adds I feel a little bit more depth to the colours. Let's have a look at the purple. Yeah, it's all coming out really nicely. The colour there, I can see three different colours, a really nice contrast at the back, which was the main goal. Tiny little air bubble here. So although I took my time, it wasn't enough. Definitely need to blast it with some kind of small flame. So I bring that back in focus, but beautiful colour. Beautiful colour uh, variation around the edge. I think the only thing that would add more value to that is if I'd have put clear at the bottom. Yeah, very happy. Sorry, I'm just admiring them as we speak as well. This is the one that had the apple, the pumpkin, and then I added a little bit of bronze at the end. It's a little bit tougher to come out, but I'm sure it is going to come out. Yep, it came out. Tiny air bubble just there. Always at that top part where it's harder, but a beautiful graduation of colour. Beautiful around the edges. And the front, I love. Just a little bit of the uh, resin come off there. Uh, a little bit of sanding just there, but again, this is probably the best one when it comes to not needing much aftercare. Uh, Neil coughing away there, bless him. I, I do declare a perfect one. Nice colour contrast at the front. No air bubble at the back. And beautiful colours all the way around. So, a success. So I don't know if that spray that I used did add any value to it. But if it protects the mold, sorry, I keep bringing it out camera. So a tiny little air bubble there. Beautiful gradient of colour at the back and around the edge. Not any sanding really needed on this one. So other than the air bubbles, that's a success as well. Okay, really 
really do love the red and the blue. It's like there's tiny little bubbles at the top, but they're not bubbles, it's all flat. So I'm curious to know what's going on there. Maybe it's where I torched it, but the back, other than that air bubble, the effects on that is just stunning. One air bubble at the side just there. But different colours going around, which was the main goal. I wanted there to be interesting back, side and front. And I really do like the red and blue combination. It's a personal favourite of mine. Nicely. Okay, so a big air bubble at the corner there. I should be able to, well, what I believe I should do is fix it fairly um, straightforwardly, but beautiful contrasts around the sides. No, I'd say a slight sanding needed on this one, but the front as well, beautiful colours. Yeah, I can see just the edge there needs that sanding from this angle. And last but not least, I don't know if it's a half a moon. Oh yes, beautiful. So the back, another tiny little air bubble there. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on these air bubbles. I think I went even too thick again at the base, but beautiful contrasting colour again. The edge is got a nice contrast as well, and the front. I believe as well has a nice texture. Tiny little bit of sanding. So overall, I would say success again. Definitely improved on my third attempt. Learned a little bit more. Just need to go back, I think, and go thinner. Torch it. Thin torch. Thin torch. And yeah, I. It's all come out fairly clear. Tiny little bit of wiping just needed where you've just got the little specks of resin that's um, dried itself on there, but. Yeah, I definitely would advise getting these moulds and giving it a go. So if you like what you saw, thumbs up, share and leave a comment because they're always welcome. And I hope you have an amazing day. Keep warm.